A few days ago, Unity announced two new AI tools they've released in a beta program. They're called Muse and Centus, and today I'm going to tell you what they are and why you should care. And we'll also take a look at the nine Unity verified AI tools that were just posted. Before we get started, if you're a game dev, tap the like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in game dev and AI, we're putting together a free AI game dev event for the community sometime at the end of next month. I'm gathering experts to just teach us all of the latest stuff about AI and game dev. So if that sounds interesting, just check the link for the description and go grab your free ticket. Now let's start this video with Muse Chat. On their page it says that the eventual goal of Muse is to enable you to create almost anything in the editor using natural input such as text prompts and sketches. This sounds really exciting to me because it seems a lot like building games in a holodeck. Easily the best part of the ship. The warp core is the best part of the ship. Of course, the current version doesn't do all of that right now, but it does do some really cool stuff like animations, textures, and of course, code. I expect code is probably where it'll be strongest at the beginning, but I don't know yet because I'm still waiting for my beta invite. I'm guessing Muse will probably get a lot of new editor functionality going forward, so I'm really excited to try it out and use it. Now for runtime AI, they also announced another tool, Centus. It lets you run AI models on device, including on the consoles, and they demoed it being used by an NPC for natural chat, like you've probably seen in the NVIDIA demo. Hello there. Greetings. What's your name? My name is Or. I'm an extraterrestrial visitor who has come to Earth to study and understand humans. What hairstyles would you choose if you had hair? If I had hair, I would probably go for a messy bun or ponytail. Now this leads us to the next topic. They also announced nine new AI tools in the asset store that you can grab for free. And two of them, InWorld and Convey, or Conv AI, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, they both seem to work similarly to the Sentis tool. So if you really want to try that out and you don't want to wait, you don't have to. I'll add a link to the description. You can go grab them and try them out both right now. Now, personally, I've played with InWorld a bit myself, and I thought it was really cool, but I'm curious to know what everybody else thinks about these AI-generated conversations. Is it something that you want to see in games or that you could see putting into your own games? Just drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, on to more controversial topics, they've also added some art generation tools to the store. Layer AI does 2D generation for game assets. I've only made a few gold coins with it so far, but it seems pretty powerful. And they also added Leonardo.ai integration. I've used Leonardo before and it's pretty good for 2D art. Plus they added 3D model texture generation as a new beta feature. Now on the topic of 3D generation, Polyhive also is in the store and does that 3D texture generation for your models and I really don't know which one is better. So if you've tried them, please comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, not everything in the AI list is generative. There are some other cool uses. One of them is modal.ai, which does automated AI testing of your game. It generates heat maps where things happen and seems pretty interesting. For beautiful AI-driven effects, they've also added zebra effects. The effects here look amazing, way beyond anything I could make on my own, but I'm definitely going to try this one out and see what I can do with it. The other two assets on the list are for voiceovers. I feel really sorry for voiceover actors right now, but it's getting way too easy to not add AI voices. LMNT and Replica Studios both offer AI voices, and I haven't tried LMNT, but I've used Replica before, and it was awesome. I, if you haven't tried out any of these AI-generated voiceover things, you've, you've got to try it out, put them in your game, and see just how much awesomeness it adds for very little work. Now, that's all for today's tools, but if you want to get into the AI beta, grab any of the assets or come to the free conference. Just look for the links in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.